Mic check. One, two. Mic check. Mic check. <clears throat> Welcome back, guys, to the channel. As you can see, we are now on to episode three of The Walking Dead, season one. So if you've enjoyed it so far, remember to subscribe because I have all the other Walking Dead seasons up already on the channel. So you can go and just enjoy them all. Also, let me know in the comment section below what other type of games you want to see me play on this channel. Right, enough about that. Let's jump into the video. Ooh, the walking dead. I'm excited. Ooh, what are we running from? Episode 3, Long Road Ahead. Looks like this is our lucky day. I don't like it. Keep your eyes open, all right? Just trying to be optimistic. Let's just get inside. Tim's tools and more. Oh, man. Lee, where do you come down on staying or going? You mean packing up the motel and getting in the RV? Yeah, we've been talking about it, but have you made up your mind yet? We should go. The motel's run its course, and it's not safe. You're damn right it has. We pile into the RV and don't pull over till we see water. And if Lily's dead set on staying, then, well, that's the way it goes. Okay, just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. Oh, you okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Right. What can I do? Hmm. Let's use this. <clears throat> Lily's not doing so good, huh? It's not good. I'm worried. No, it's not. I hope she doesn't snap. I might have saved our lives in that meat locker, you know? Okay, so now... Set with you for agreeing to take that stuff from the station wagon. I think she understands. Hope so. Not like we had much choice. Right. Right. Let's hop Duck on. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. What'd he say? He just woke up in the middle of the night, screaming his head off. He thinks he killed Herschel's son. Oh, Christ. I'm sorry. Fact of the matter is, we did. Technically, you, you did. For this. Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Ouch.
Jesus. You okay? I'm fine. Shit. I'm sorry, pal. I thought it'd be healed up better. You're lucky it wasn't any worse. You could have. <laughs> Jesus. Somebody help me! Oh God! Oh God! What the, what the hell is that? A walker? Walkers don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. It's a girl. She's gonna get us killed. No shit. Action. <laughs> Put her out of this misery. No, we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive, and she draws them all to her, buying us time. Yeah. Think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. No! 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 Leave her. Go away! <laughs> right. We should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget okay. underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. Okay, what have we got here? She's gone. There's not much time now. This is... I think that's everything. That girl didn't die for nothing. Up and over. We're still clear. Let's hustle. Jimmy, help! Damn. Come on, Kenny. Let's go. Oh, God damn. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. Damn. Those arrows. Who's she talking to? You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer. And I put him on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute.
Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? Might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Huh. So, what did you get? A lot of stuff. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This'll keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! His piling into an RV with you two, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. We have to go eventually, Lily. We don't have to do anything. You didn't want to go because of your dad's health. But he's gone now. Easy, <laughs> Kenny. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss <laughs> people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. And don't start with me, either. Ken, we're all losing it with the attacks and lack of food. It could be so much worse. When's the last time someone got bitten? Are you counting the St. John's? Jesus, Ben. <laughs> we're all going a little nuts. Ben. We can't tear each other apart. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. That's BS, Kenny. And you know What about it. medicine? We got plenty of food from that station wagon. We can't just keep our fingers crossed for more station wagons. Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? We got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. You just let her suffer like what? Like bait? God, what is happening? She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, <laughs> Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right. Stealing! And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day! Now everybody get out! Damn. Happy Kenny. She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. You understand, Ken. She's right about one thing. None of this is getting any easier. <laughs> oh, things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. Hmm. Right. I am going to talk to her. Tell her that... Tell her I love her. Talk to Lily yet? No, not yet. I will. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. Oh. I think about you too. Our group is small. You're small. <laughs> Cheeky. You're a convicted killer. Carly. Oh, Jesus. Damn. And I think people should know. 
not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. Okay. You're probably right. Of course I'm probably right. People might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. Let's do it. Oh. Don't call me small. Oh. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? Uh. I'm going to look into this thing. Good idea. Hmm. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's got to be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Sure, pal. What you got? Well, I'm a convicted murderer. And I thought you might, you might it's know. It's serious. Oh, no. What'd the she-devil do to you? Shut up, man. I was uh, on my way to prison three months ago. No shit. No shit. It wasn't for touching kids, was it? Oh, man, come on, man. What? I gotta ask. No. I killed a guy in a fight. Hmm. Must have been a real piece of shit if you had to haul off and kill him. So we're straight there. Lee, look at everything this mess has got us doing now. I'm sorry you went through whatever you went through. Yeah, we're straight. <laughs> Done it. <laughs> Hi, guys. Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay? Well, I'll tell you in a second. Right. I don't touch kids. I do murder. I was uh, on my way to prison three months ago. You've always looked at me with kind eyes. I wonder if you could still do that if you uh, knew I was a convicted fella. My goodness, for what? How much trouble can a teacher get into? Well, plenty. But it had nothing to do with that. It was for murder. Why? He and my wife. Uh, That's were... enough. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. Oh. I held Mummy back, and Kenny made sure Larry didn't get up. What did he do? He smashed his head in. Oh! Gotcha. Everything keeps changing. Right, that's enough telling people. I think it's time. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? To give you hell. I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. And you came in here to confess? I'm not stealing shit. I came in here to help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things.
For real. Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. Mm. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Hmm. We don't toss out equipment. We fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Okay. I'll poke around a little bit. I'll poke around. Thank you. If you don't find anything, I'm just going to assume it's you. Jesus, thanks a lot. A mystery. Jesus, <laughs> Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the greatest detective, and I can be Dick Grayson. Your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. Okay, you're Robin. Yes. <laughs> what do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. Look in the mirror. Hmm. Let's have a little poke around. Ah, what is this we see? think it is I don't think it's anything maybe it's a sign it could be it's pink chalk which is weird okay back to investigating let's <laughs> go and speak to Clem Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Do uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst. Lee. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues Yeah, and Duck, I got it. Good job. <laughs> I've got a high five. Here. Cool. You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No. Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's probably for the best. <laughs> Probably for the best. You're a bit of an idiot. Have you found anything else? Just the chalk. I also found some bugs underneath the stairs. Don't tell Clementine. <laughs> okay, I won't. You seem to know a bit about all of this. The chalk, you found the scuff here. This is going to sound crazy, but you're not involved, are you? No, I'm a good guy. Stay inside the gate. I will, I will. <laughs> I 
Somebody was over here, too. Hmm. See? I did good, huh? Yeah, Duck. You did. I suppose did do, huh? I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Dum, dum. Dum, dum, dum. There has been a traitor. You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? What the hell? You don't fucking steal from us! Who the fuck is that? You got our people out there! Oh, bandits. Fucking around! What do we do? Oh, Lily. shit! They're gonna start kicking in doors any second. The, what the hell are you- Stall him. What? Just keep him talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling a trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your life! Shit. Oh damn, oh damn, oh damn. Enough of this bullshit! Drew, stop putting your boot to these doors! Yeah! Yo. Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. Why are you doing this? Just leave us the fuck alone! Why? This fucking guy. Why? Because we got her! That's why! What will it take to reach a deal? About twice as much as you've been giving us. You got it. Done. Is that so? Well, I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. Man, shut up! Or Christ! Oh, shit! I got him in the ass. Damn, how many are there? Get back there! Smoke him out! We gotta get out of here! No shit! Get those bastards! Cover our people and get them to the RV! How is that not him? Now, nice. get over here, hurry! Man, yeah, you saved our asses. Get inside. All right, Ben, behave yourself. Help! Gotcha. Hang on. Nice. Oh, that was rubbish. Got him. Got him. Hurry, come on! Cliff, get inside the RV. It's going to be okay. Go! <laughs> Get in the RV! Screw her! Let her stay! Shit! Ah! Oh. Last 
chance. Get down here. The aim in this game is not very good. <laughs> Cat, Jesus, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I'm sorry. Everything's fine. Everything's ben. not fine. We need to figure out how this happened. We just lost everything. Well, we're lucky as shit to have this RV. And nobody died. Cat's head is split I'm open. I'm fine. Somebody in here caused this. Settle down back there. The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. Somebody was working with them. Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. Lee found a bag of supplies hidden outside the wall. It's true. true. So, Carly, is there something you want to say? Please, we have to get it out of you then. Back off. You're in no position to make demands. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. You're just pointing fingers. Carly's trustworthy. She's not a traitor, Lily. Thank you, Lee. She can fight her own battles. Best friends. Unless there's something going on here that implicates you both. Don't be ridiculous. Like, look, maybe we should vote or something like that. Vote? What? Just look, Carly's a stand-up gal and maybe this was all just a mis- Let's just let it go. People make mistakes and yeah, this is a fucking doozy. But it's not worth it, Lily. Then what do we not forgive? Honestly, tell me. Kenny can kill my dad. Carly can steal from us. Where's the line? Nobody was stealing anything. Was it both of you? What? I've seen you two together. Was it both of you? Look, just let me out. I didn't do it, but I don't like this. I don't like where it's headed. Look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't have anything to do with it. Lily, lay off of him. I... Shit! What's going on up there? I hit something. We gotta stop. Well, we can deal with this now, then. Ooh. It was Ben. Kitty, is it safe? Should be. Everybody out. Really? Out. Kenny, the RV has some surface damage, but there's a walker trapped underneath. God damn it. Everyone keep your eyes peeled. You know what? We shouldn't just kick you out. We should hear what everybody thinks. I think you should chill out. I'm not going to take this. You can push Ben around, but you can't push me around. I'm really sorry you feel that way. I'm starting to think maybe it was both of you. There's no way it was Carly somebody else. It could have even been someone sneaking into our camp. That's ridiculous. That's what you think? Yes. Okay, fine then. Kenny? I don't know. Fuck. Just stop, would you? Well, your vote counts for you and Katja. We don't need all these votes. What do I have to do for you to trust me? I'll do anything. I'll, I'll do watches for months. Huh. The hell you will. I'll get more food, more medicine, anything. Stop panicking. Seriously, Ben. You need to stop and just take a breath. Do we need any more evidence than this? Fuck evidence. Stop treating him like this. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Kenny, what's it gonna be? Just give me a damn minute. Ben, you have until that walker is dealt with to tell me it was her and not you. Stop this. You're torturing him. No! Ben, stop. This is about trust, and I've never trusted you. I did it. What? Yeah, it was me. That gets you to lay off the kid? I think you're capable of being a real piece of shit. But I know it wasn't you. <laughs> Not with her in your life. There! I got it. Please, let's just get back That's in the That's not RV. happening. You think you're some tough bitch, don't you? Like nothing can hurt you. But you're just a scared little girl. Get the fuck over it. Take a page from Lee's book and try helping somebody for once. Uh, she has mad. Now, what the fuck's the problem? What? 
No, Kali. Drop it. No. Holy fuck. Kenny, what's happening? Keep ducking away from the windows. Jesus Christ. Get in. We're leaving this crazy bitch. She couldn't be trusted, Lee. I swear. Please. You're not coming with us. I'll die out here. I don't care. You're a murderer, Lily. We can't have you with us. I'm a murderer? You've had Lee with you this whole time. I don't care what he did before. You know? Yeah, he told me. I don't give a shit. If we keep you with us, how long until you get me? I was trying to protect all of us. <laughs> I don't have anything left. Get in, Lee. Let's go, you guys. <laughs> That's good, I told him. It was him, 100%. Evil woman. <laughs> Better get running, dude. Lee? Bit, bit, bit. <laughs> oh damn! What's going on? Hello, Clem. What's up? Is Doc feeling all right? Oh! What the fuck? Yeah. What happened during the raid? He's got a turn. We don't know that. Gotcha. What do we really know? None of us have been bitten. We don't know what the time frame is for a child. We know nothing. I'm going to monitor him and focus on the wound and see if his condition changes. We keep the same plan unless something changes. East. Guys. What else is there to do? We thought you should know. Important to stay honest with each other. Anyway. If you could tell Clementine, we would appreciate it. Oof. Clem, don't play with Duck anymore. <laughs> Duck is bit. Huh? He got bit by a walker trying to escape the motel. I don't feel good. What about Carly? Uh... There was no time for a burial. Walkers? Yeah. Horrible. Me too. Hmm. I heard you outside my treehouse that day and thought about dropping a hammer on your head. <laughs> That's nice. I didn't, though. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> It was him. Uh, uh, what happened? Uh, Holy shit! Get off of me! <laughs> <laughs> we got something up ahead. What is it? Roads blocked. Oh, goddamn. Now we gotta deal with this. Hmm. 
Hmm, Is there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. This seems like a safe area. All this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. Um. Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Stay close to Kenny and Cat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter. Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? I haven't crossed my mind. <laughs> Let's have a look in here. Shoe outlets. Whoa. Somebody's been living in here. Yeah, man. Shit. Think they're gone? I hope so. But this looks recently used. Be on the lookout and have your guard up. What have we got here? A map of where the train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, Savannah. That's where Kenny's got us headed. Ooh. I'll take this to Kanja for Doc. Let's have a look. Ah, we taking this tool. Let's go to the front. Oh, Walker. We got one. Walker, sitting in the chair. We got him. Smash him. Suppose we ought to look him over. Yeah. Okay, he's not Walker. I don't think this guy came back. Christ. That light is blinking. Push it. Push it? Why not? Are you fucking serious? Here, look. It's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker works? Seems <laughs> like it. I'll be damned. How the hell do we get it moving? I don't know. That's Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. <laughs> Found this in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. This horse will take us right to Savannah. A hundred tons of steel. Put a thousand walkers between us and the ocean, and we don't have to give a shit. I can't believe it. Just have to figure out how to get it started. I'm sure we can figure it out. How tough could it be? No idea, but we'll find out. That's the spirit. Man, if you could keep an eye on the girls and duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm going to make sense of these controls. Man, this could be exactly what we need. Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. I can kind of see the indentations from the writing. Right, I think I know what to do. Let's talk to Clem.
There's a notepad on the train. Do you have any pencils or anything in your pack? No, I wish. Maybe in the RV. What do you need it for? There used to be something written on the notepad that I need to know about. Oh, well, if you don't end up using it, I'd take it. I like to put leaves between the pages and color over them. Like make a rubbing? Yeah, it's fun. Hmm. Here, found some water. Oh, thank you. Perfect. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? It's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. Well, I don't. But you're probably right. Let's go up into the RV. Let's go to the front. And we've got a pencil. Let's make a rubbing. <laughs> Up we go. Okay. Let's do it. Perfect. You can read it now? Yeah. Should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. Okay, up, up, up. Up, and then I think it was up, the last one. Son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up. So far, so good. So far, so good. Right. What's we got here? Five. Five. Now we're talking. And now we need to get nine, which I believe is outside. Not sure if it's in this one. No. Might be in the f first one. Well, it's not in this one, is it actually? Nope. Must be in the first one. So we'll go to numero one. Open it up. Let's see what's in. Ah, uh, here it is. So, what do we have here? One to the left. One to the left. Dum dum dum. Then one to the right. We've done it. Holy shit! We're golden! Yeah, we are. Golden. Man, feels good. Let's fucking enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. Let's see. It's all yours. Damn it. Of course, we're still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck and get us unstuck? Yeah. Sure can. Right, let's go all the way. Jump down.
and it's gonna be here. Hey, Kenny, we're loose. You touch any of my stuff? <laughs> Who's this geezer? Oh. I took the map of the train routes. That's fine. You can have that. Really? Yeah, I got them all right up here. <laughs> I guess it's no worse for wear. Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab? Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. <laughs> Already met everyone outside. They all warmed to me right quick in direct sunlight. You met Chuck? Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. You don't deserve any candy, Ben. You have candy. Boy, I got the last piece I got on me. Figures. You met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. <coughs> I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on that? Stay with us. We'd like the company. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Wanna ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. <laughs> and find anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck sick. Get on the train, Clementine. <laughs> He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. We can keep going if you want. Damn right I won't. That's what we're doing. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! Get on, Kent. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. <laughs> right. Let's go on a little train journey. He's guilty. He's definitely dying. Oh, what happened to his arm?
Gotta be hard on you, eh? The adults taking care of the kids. No disrespect, son. There were more of us. Dad, get them? Yes. Oh, it's a shame. Lee. Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? Can you get that off his face? My hands are full, too. Get this napkin. Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? Come here, zombie boy. He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Please. Uh, it's this way. Jenny, stop. We need to the, stop the train. Stop the train right now. Kenny, what? Ken, what the hell's that? Nothing you seem to care about. Fuck you! You don't know what I care about. I care about saving my son and getting all of us to the ocean. I'm sorry. I know you care, but man... We just gotta focus and get to Savannah as fast as we can. We're out of time, Kenny. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. <laughs> You're in denial! And you've given up on Duck, on everyone! Stop it, goddammit! Fuck you, Lee. You're gonna listen. Or what? I don't know what the hell is wrong with you, but you need to lock it up. Be a man here. Oh, you want a piece of me? Is that it? <laughs> I just want to talk, Ken. Relax. Then talk. You think you're the reason Duck was bitten? Like you had this coming or something? Stop thinking about yourself, man. You feel guilty. Like you killed any chance of a miracle for Duck when you ran away from Sean Green. There's no room for that shit. This isn't about you. It's about a woman back there who needs her husband and a boy who needs his dad. Oh, I convinced them. Damn. Yeah. Oh, what's going to happen now? It's exciting. Again, it's, I think it's time. I... The boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. What do you need? I... I... Gotcha. It's time to... Oh, this is not possible. <laughs> what are we going to do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if, what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. 
There's... Come on, Cap. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. God, you fuck. I, I, I can't. I can do this. You can't. I love you, Ken, but this is beyond you. I'll do it. No, it should be a parent. No parent should have to do something like this. He's right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest so Clementine doesn't have to see? Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. Damn. I used to think he was really annoying, but he's kind of nice and he grows on you, doctors. I'm going to enjoy shooting him. <laughs> Nah, he's, he's, he's a good character. Um, I'm gonna take care of... Doc is dying. I know. What are you doing? I'm putting him out of his misery. <laughs> yeah. Look, Clem. Things are. What the? No! Ben, take Clementine into the train. Go. What It'll happened? be fine. Are you shot? Cat! Cat! Gotcha! She shot herself. Why? Cat! Honey! Oh, fucking God! Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my God. I... I... Crazy. Oh. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. Right. Let's pull it straight between his eyes. Look at that. See a duck. Adios. Ducky. Oh, back on the road again.
Let's have a word with Clem. You want to talk? Uh-uh. You uh, understand what happened? Yes. Oh, okay. What do you think is about? What Chuck said. What Chuck said? That what happened to Doc. What happened to me. The fuck he did? I swear. Sorry. I can turn some sense into him. Don't be mad. Hey, how you doing? I don't care what reasons you had for doing it. No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. Because she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We find a boat. You think that's a new idea? You got even the foggiest idea about where you're going to find one of those. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you got to prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. Like a gun. Are you kidding me? What? She's too young to handle one? There ain't too young. None anymore. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little. You ain't a girl. You ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. Be safe up here. You betcha. Right. Let's go to see Clem. I'm gonna bother talking to Ben. He's annoying. Oh, we got a bottle here. A fifth of whiskey. Let's uh, take this. I found this if you want it. Damn, I didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Welcome. Want a nip? Sure. Ooh. Not known for its finish. No kid. <laughs> Anybody in there want to share a drink? You let them know. Will do. Let's uh, ask Kenny if he wants to share a drink. Hey, man. You and me, we. Oh, fuck it. Let's just get to the ocean. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some? Yeah. <laughs> Kenny doesn't turn down a drink. Yeah, that'd help. Oh. Snack. Thanks. <laughs> that was a quick one.
It was me. Oh, fuck. Huh? Knew it. I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? Oh. Just want to kill him. It's all my fault. I could kill you. I... I... Nobody can see us. I could toss you over right now and be done with it. No! I... Please, please! Why shouldn't I? They said they had my friend. I didn't know what to do. Please, please! Kill him, kill him, kill him. <laughs> I had to tell someone. I bet you did. Bitch. Ooh. Hey, Clint. Did you talk to him? I did. Mm -hmm. He had some, uh, he explained himself and made some good points. Look, I'm not gonna let anything bad happen to you, but there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. Well, what should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and uh, tidy up a little so you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean, with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. It's <laughs> get strong. The aim. You look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? Uh... No, these are just bottles. The head. But you have to aim for the head. I know. Only the head. Unless it's not a walker and it's someone trying to hurt you. And then? Head or body. Body. Anywhere. I don't want to think about that. You're right. It might be a lot for your first day. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do this then. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. You okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yes. Yeah, you do. Okay, aim a little bit more to the left. Steady now. Almost got it. More to the left. Okay, a little higher. A bit to the right. Close. Now keep it steady. Boom. I got it. Excellent. Good shot. Okay. Aim more to the right. Steady now. Almost got it. Okay. Aim a little bit more to the left. Aim a little higher. There you go. Nice. Nice. I did it! Yeah, you did. Good job. We just pretended they were walker heads. Good. <laughs> just like you should. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. <laughs> Alright. 
Right. Hey, Clint. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're going to do when we get there. They don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. Uh... I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay. Well, if they're not, what happened to them? I'm sure they're okay. I think I heard them die. Don't get your hopes up. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Okay, let's. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. Now we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm. Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and... Maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the M M something Mar. Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it. <laughs> we'll head there. Yes. You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know. Sure. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, we need to cut her hair, don't we? My hands hurt and my ears have noise in them. Like... <laughs> oh. get used to it. Uh... Be careful around Ben. I like Ben. I know. He's just young. And doesn't make the best choices. I'm young. You're smart. Just listen to me, okay? And be careful. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. I need to get scissors out of the pack. They look clean enough. Hey, Clem. Hi. Hey, Clem. So you're probably not going to like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Because <laughs> it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker... We need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. <sighs> okay. And if we do this now? I guess not. Oh, no, no. <laughs> it's a good thing. <laughs> it's not. Do you know how to do this? How hard can it be? I'm going to look like a boy. Just now. So you did kill someone before. What? Yeah. You could have just told me. I wouldn't have been afraid of you or anything. I'm sorry. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. different. But you do it now to protect yourself. And to protect me. I was sent to jail. Did people ever go to jail when they shouldn't? All the time. Okay. I think I'm about done. I can probably tear these pieces back with something. Here. I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There. All set. <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> no, 
You look cute and a lot harder to grab. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little chef. Thanks. I guess we should see how far... Oh, shit! Hold on, everybody! Uh-oh. Oh, dear, oh, dear. PSV. Fuck, 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 fuck! Maybe we could walk? That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm, I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's going to explode. You got to get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo, you keep screaming like that and you're going to get your face chewed off. Are you guys going to be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. No, we're friendly. Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. We know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there. We won't let them escape. <laughs> nice. Okay. Let's, let's get up here. If I come up there... You better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. Mm hmm. Deeper faith. Oh, it. Guys, is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now. What about when? Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh man. Look, you, you want to help us out? We could use some able bodies and, yeah, we, we really need some help. What's in it? Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! Oh. What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Well, this is great! See? Things are looking up. <laughs> You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened. I was actually incarcerated. Sick. Do you have any prison tats? I uh, didn't make it that far. And everybody down there, they're cool? Ben's young and stupid, and I think harmless. The first two things you said don't really go with the third. I know. We just have to keep an eye on him. No sweat. It's been rough for everybody down there. I'm sure you can say the same. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. The train is awesome, though. That tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it. But if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. Okay. Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes? Like I said, we could use some good people. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we are not looking for charity. The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. Then why don't I show you how this thing works? 
case something happens. Really, Ken? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. Can I go have a little look? Oh, I've got to go around this way. Can I follow you over there? You don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. <laughs> yeah, all right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. Hustle over. Come with me. Survivors inside. That doesn't sound very good. You should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. Right, I know exactly what to do. And it is... The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in? Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. Okay, I can see in. What do I do now? Uh, getting this door open is going to be tough. It might not be that hard. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. For real? I think so. <laughs> Well, I'll be damned. Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, damn, it's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. Use. Let's see what we can use. Oh, I can use this. Nice. Locked up good. There's some space up there. Not much. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah, we are. <laughs> right. Come on, you. Back on the shoulders. You okay going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoop. Behind you! Oh, Fuck. Josh. <laughs> Okay, it's okay. Everything's fine. Keys, now! <laughs> fuck, it's still locked! Oh, fuck. Uh... Right in the head. Don't mess with the A team. God damn. That didn't go so good. No, it did not go so good. We're okay. Everything's okay. 
Everything's gone. What's going be on? Right. I thought I heard a gunshot. We're fine. Found some walkers. You and an eight year old versus three of them, huh? <laughs> We handled it. Yeah, it looks like. What if you hadn't? I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. That's a good idea. <laughs> hey. I hope you know what you're doing with her. Okay. We're still alive, aren't we? Yeah, you are. Christy won't forget that. Right. We got it. Let's go outside now. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. We learned not to be afraid. They should have got us. But we got them. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Fear is the thing that will kill us. You understand? Right. Good now. PSVF. PSVF. I found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. All right, I need. I need. Now, what can we get here? Ooh, some yellow tape. Now, let's blowtorch this thing. Shit. What's up? The hose has a leak in it. Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. <laughs> Better plug that leak with something. This is why you got the oh, tape. Right. Round two. That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Whoa. Thanks. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. Here. The weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. Think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are! <laughs> God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting. Oh my gosh. Look how many are. Guys! There's something coming! With the what? There must be thousands. We gotta go! Fuck! Omi! Cut! Cut! I am! It's going! Pull me up! Jenny, go! To God, this works. Holy crap! We gotta jump! What? No way! We gotta jump, only need. Fine! Fine! You stay here and we'll go with your lady! The hell you will! 
Ah! Oh shit. shit. Ah! <laughs> Damn. That was a lot of them. Are you hurt? No. We're okay. Speak for yourself. My leg is fucked. We're fine, Clementine. We're fine. Damn. That was a lot. the picture. Next stop. The Atlantic. Ooh. We find that Clementine's parents when we get there. I thought they were dead. Looking for them there. That's not the plan. Well, it's ours. She and I talked it through. It's got too bad, you know. You, me. Nobody can take all this. But we have. What we're supposed to do isn't clear anymore. I'd give anything to go back to fighting over the motel. <sighs> Me too. I'll leave you to your thoughts. She's out cold like I've never seen. Walkie talkie. That fucking thing was broken. So did I. Who the fuck was that? If he's convinced Clementine that he has her parents. Y'all might want to rethink your plan. Uh oh. Okay, so that is the end of episode 3 of the season 1, Walking Dead. If you enjoyed it, remember subscribe. I've got all the other Walking Dead seasons on my channel, so go and watch and enjoy them all. Right, let me know in the comment section below if there is any other type of game you want to see me play on this channel. And yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll be checking you out in the next episode.